Hey everybody, it's Lance Bass, and you're watching Billboard. I was very nervous, of course, of course, to uh, release music. It's been quite a while since I've been in the studio, uh, but it was amazing just to get it out there, and uh, the response has been really overwhelming. My fans have absolutely just eaten it up, and uh, and I think it surprised a lot of people. I don't know what people were expecting from me, but as long as they're loving it, I'm happy. I've been thinking about music for the last couple of years, and uh, nothing really resonated with me at all until I got this song from Anise K. Uh, thrown at me from a friend and I listened to it the first time I'm like oh my gosh that is a hit that is a smash hit I have to be a part of this and I signed on immediately and went to the recording studio I think three days after that just to make sure that no one stole that song from me the thing that appealed to me is you know now you have to have one of those songs that can be played in clubs. That's where a lot of songs are born these days, uh, and which is fun, you know, just fun, good dance music. And that's what appealed to me. I knew listening to this for the first time, it had this really cool, uh, almost Arabian sound to it with a sitar, which I really, really love and I don't think is used uh, enough here, you know, in America. Uh, so that was very different to me and I knew it would stand out. Those dance songs that you can just take down to an acoustic version, I love that and that's what we're going to be doing tonight. I'm originally a country blues singer. I, you know, I'm from Mississippi, that is my heart. Uh, I'm a country singer. Uh, then I went into this pop music, which was amazing, and I learned a lot of stuff, and I started uh, appreciating different genres of music, just being within sync. VMAs were incredible. It was our 10-year high school reunion, is basically what it was, because it was almost 10 years uh, to the day that we had performed at the Grammys, which I think was the last time we performed in 2003. Uh, and, I mean, just getting back on stage with those guys, I mean, they're, they're family, they're my brothers, and it feels like not a day had passed. It just happened that we were able to do that for the fans too, because uh, the fans, that's who made us for sure, and they're still with us today. Individually, they support us so much, and uh, it, was, it was exciting to give that back to them because they have been wanting that so long, and to be able to finally hit that stage with the NSYNC guys, um, it just made me so happy. And to see, I love all the reaction videos you see on YouTube with the people videotaping themselves just in case we hit the stage. They're my favorite. I watch those things all the time and see how the fans just freaked out when they finally realized we were gonna be doing it. You know, when I was in, in the group, uh, I never really did much solo work. I was, I was the bass singer and I loved being the bass singer. It really took my friends kind of pushing me saying, look, you need to do this, you need to do this. You have a great voice, you should do this. And finally, I'm, I'm glad I got in the studio because it really gave me the confidence that I needed uh, doing this song. Now I know, you know what? I do love this. I really love this and, and it's actually working. People actually want to hear it. Anise wrote an incredible song and I was just so happy he asked me to be on this track. Uh, just honored and to be singing with this Bella Blue, this new amazing singer. Uh, I'm kind of more excited just for everyone to fall in love with her because I can pretend that I had something to do with making her big here in America. My, my days are really, really busy and I didn't think I'd even have time to get back into music. But uh, now that I'm back into it, I definitely, uh, with the reaction that we've had with Walking On Air, um, you know, I didn't know what they were gonna say. It could have easily come out and people were like, this is crap, I don't wanna hear this. But it's been so overwhelmingly positive that I'm already looking at new songs to record right now. I had no idea that I would be doing this when I was a kid. You know, I'm, I'm just a small town boy from Mississippi and I never even knew you could dream this big. I love the entertainment industry, I really do. Every aspect of it, behind the camera, in front of the camera, acting, singing, producing, writing. I love it all, I want to learn all. I'm a student, I'm always improving, I'm always learning. And, uh, and I want to continue the rest of my life uh, being able to be in this industry that I love. Whoa.